People living in the neighborhood met with San Diego County Supervisor Tara Lawson Reamer tonight, where they talked about the issues they are most worried about. CBS 8's Esmeralda Perez was there. Residents gathered here at Miramar College and met with Supervisor Tara Lawson Reamer. Tonight, they talked about the homeless crisis, fentanyl, and new projects. I'm a researcher by training. I was a professor. Supervisor Tara Lawson Reamer hosted a meet and greet in an effort to connect with residents in the Mira Mesa community. It's just really important to me to be out there speaking to my constituents, hearing what the biggest issues are on their mind, uh, so that we as a county can uh, be responsive. An opportunity for people living in Mira Mesa said to voice their concerns on issues affecting them. My main concern is homelessness. Lawson Reamer says it's been a lot of work, but progress is being made. They built hundreds of new beds with services for people in the community without a home. We're moving forward a lot of these uh, kind of pilot programs to try to prevent people from becoming homeless in the first place. Uh, diversion programs and rent subsidies. Keeping communities safe from the opioid crisis is a priority for Lawson Reamer. Funds from an opioid lawsuit settlement will go towards helping those affected in the community. We're going to have about $120 million now to be investing in uh, tackling the fentanyl crisis, everything from education to interdiction. Residents received an update on the Mira Mesa Epicenter. It's a place that's been closed down for the community for a couple of years. Soon, this center will be available for residents. It's events like these that help leaders understand the needs of the community they serve. We've invested already $8 million um, in getting this uh, epicenter up and running, and it's just going to be amazing for, for young people in Mira Mesa. Lawson Reamer says right now they're wrapping up the design phase for the epicenter. The groundbreaking is set for fall of 2024. Esmeralda Perez, CBS. Yes, eight.